You guys all ran before? Yes or no? Like ran like on a treadmill or for a run, go for a run? Right? Okay. You start running. There's a point when you start running that you start saying, oh man, I'm tired. Right? Then there's a point where you start saying, oh, you know what? Like I ran enough today. I could start. I could go back. Right? Like there's that point. You say, oh, I want, I'm going to run five miles. Let's just pretend. I'm going to run five miles. Right? There's a point that you go and you're at mile four that you start saying, you know what? I ran enough today. I can do tomorrow. I'll hit it and blah, blah, blah. And then you hit five miles. Again, I don't know if anybody's ran this long, but just in, in theory, right? You hit that next edge, whether it's a mile, a half a mile, five miles, whatever that is for you. And then it's like, okay, you keep going. Let's say we keep going. And then there's a moment. If you've ever been an athlete, there's a moment where you're like, I could just roll my ankle. Like nothing too crazy, nothing too serious. Nothing too serious. Like I'll be okay later. But like it'll just get me out of this workout. You guys all know what I'm talking about. There's that moment that you start making and letting the quit in. You start allowing yourself to say, you know what, if this happens, then that'll be cool, I could quit now. Oh, I just, if I roll my ankle, it's not too crazy, it's not too serious, boom. It wasn't my fault that I had to stop. Too bad I rolled my ankle. Oh, you know what? I was door knocking and then a client called. So I had to take my client call and then I ended up leaving to this appointment. So I couldn't finish my door knocking. No one likes door knocking. It gets easier as you do more. You go from running a half a mile to running five miles. It's practice. Every single day, you have to stop letting the freaking quit in.